Hello traders, in today's video we're going to be taking advantage of trapped traders. One amazing benefit of sentiment is the ability to see where traders are trapped. These levels are really likely to act as support and resistance and I've found in all types of support and resistance trading the absolute best way is to find where a lot of longs are trapped at a higher price or where a lot of shorts are trapped at a lower price. First thing we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys a little fun visual schematic here and then we're going to look at live examples and then we're going to finish with execution actually how to make money from this. Okay. Let's say that we have data that tells us that a lot of traders are trapped here. Mm -hmm. Just at these prices and price you know went down to here uh, and then it went back up and we know that a lot of shorts are trapped around here in this candle. Well, what do we think is going to happen once price begins to creep right back down and these traders become profitable again? Well, if you look at the data, what almost always happens is price goes back upward. Some traders are going to be able to take break even. Some traders will not be able to take break even. And that amount of buying and demand at these prices here is going to cause price to go higher. And now another example is let's say that price it looks like it's doing well. It retraces a bit and then it goes up again. And then everyone who was waiting to buy, guess what they all just did? Hey, we all buy. Everyone just bought at these prices right here. And we've reached saturation point of buyers, so prices goes down. Now, what do we think is gonna happen when price begins to crawl right back up to that level? Do we think that these previous longs are just going to panic free, just be able to hold their trade? Probably not. What's probably gonna happen is something like this, where price just struggles to go any higher and then just goes lower. Some traders take break even, some traders are not able to, and then price either just stalls typically, or price, you know, does that and kills all the traders to, that were trapped. All right, guys, let's go look at the direct data of how to apply this. Because theory is only as good as its live application. You're looking at the five minute BTC USDT. Now, what I want you guys to specifically look at is an increase in open interest. That's the primary indicator we're using today. Yeah, long short ratio is of course what we're using, but we need to look at where did, where did uh, sentiment, uh, where did open interest increase? When, sent, when open interest increases, that means that fresh positions are getting in, meaning that half of them are gonna be trapped and the other half are gonna be profitable. What happened here? 1055 to 1105, guys, we see an increase in open interest by almost 1.6 mil. So $1.6 million worth of fresh positions a decent increase in sentiment. Now what we see here, what happened between 1055 and 1105? Well, we see sentiment increases from 1.47 up to 1.49. That might not seem like a lot, but I'm not really focused on, in this video, how much sentiment changes by. I'm interested in how many new positions there are. And we know that there's $1.6 million worth of new positions here of longs and shorts. And we know that the majority of the crowd, the majority of actual humans and bots just went long. So let's go look at what happened between 1055 and 1105 and how that was respected later. That's this candle to this candle. So from here to here, we see a lot of buying, a lot of new people buying in. <laughs> look at this. Price actually goes right up to the point where these traders had previously bought, then goes right back down. And right now, price is trying to go higher, guys, but it's really struggling because of how many traders bought here. What does that typically do? Well, one of two things is probably going to happen. Either we go up here, and then these traders all take break even, and then bye bye Or we just continue to stall like that. So both could happen, or we could just fall right now, of course. Now, what I find even more interesting is we typically almost always see that altcoins will follow what Bitcoin does. But I'm gonna show you guys an example using trap traders where that didn't exactly happen. Stay with me here. Look at EOS, EOS or however the heck you pronounce it. Uh, that second high really didn't go much higher than this original high. Look how much uh, Bitcoin did. <laughs> yeah, a lot higher. This didn't. There is actually a really interesting reason why. Let's get into it. So I'm going to switch these over to the 15 minute and you and I are going to take a journey on EOS USDT. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> this is sinister. Okay, this chair is really bothering me, but hopefully not as much as the traders who had bought here. Look here. $4.2 million up to $5.2 million. That's an increase of like 20% in open interest on EOS. 
from 815 to 845. Now look what happened from 815 to 845. Sentiment increased from 1.98 up to 2.18. A lot of people are buying here. Clearly just a lot of fresh new longs. What's the worst that can happen, <laughs> right? So 815 to 845, where is that? So that is here to here. Actually, let me go in the 15 minute because I'm not using 15 minute candlesticks. 815 to 845, let's do that again. Perfect, 815 to 845, so it's around here. So basically what this means is from this candle here to here, uh, we know a lot of people had bought. Price just kinda doesn't do much, and then price barely goes higher, then goes down. Now if you looked at Bitcoin at the same time that this was happening, you'd be saying to yourself, what is going on? Bitcoin just went you know, this much higher than its previous high, but EOS is only able to go like, what? I mean, like 0.3, 0.4% higher than its original high here, maybe even less. And the reason that is, is because of all the trap longs here who are trying to break even and take profit. Yep. And if you guys say, well, do you have proof of this? Well, yeah, because we can see exactly how they reacted around 11. Look at this. At 11, <laughs> sentiment goes down. 11 to 11.15, sentiment goes down. And the reason because of that is longs taking break even. 11 to 11.15, 11 to 11.15 is here. So we can see that price goes up, right? And then these traders are now profitable. Once they become profitable, even though Bitcoin is much, much higher, they all start to sell. We can actually see that in the data right here. Okay, let's go look at another example. And this one was actually mentioned by the trader BTCFM, but it is a beautiful example on ETC. We see a open interest increase from 10 mil to 10.4 mil. That's an increase in 4%. What happens? Well, between 7.15 and 7.30, I think this is the right one, yeah. 7.15 and 7.30, we see a, a jump in sentiment, right? So let's go to ETC USDT. 7.15 to 7.30, we see a jump in sentiment, meaning that we have a lot of new longs, right guys? What candles? From here to here, these two candles, we see a large amount of longs buying. So let's go back in time. I know you've already seen this, but we know that a lot of people just bought on these candles here, right? Price just goes lower here, and we know that the, anyone who had bought here is now trapped. They're currently holding a position that's down like 3%. With leverage, it could be a lot worse than that. So if we know that a lot of traders are trapped here, what we expect is that setting limit sells anywhere around here is probably a pretty good idea. Had we done that, oh my god, only one of them would have filled. Maybe we would have wanted to go a little bit lower with that, because oh, these traders were just not allowed to break even. I mean, look at this. Again, Bitcoin went far, far higher. I'm going to switch back. Hopefully this doesn't give anyone a seizure, all this switching back in all the colors. <laughs> um, you can see that Bitcoin's formation is not the same as ETC. It's actually pretty different. Bitcoin goes up far higher than its previous high, but ETC just struggles. And the reason because of that is any, everyone who had bought here takes break even. How do we know? Well, let's go look at what happened at the 1045 and the 11 uh, candles here. So at the 1045 and 11 candles, I do have to be honest, it doesn't really look like anyone was taking break even because sentiment really doesn't fall. If anything, it increases, which is even a worse sign. <laughs> that means that what actually ended up happening here is a little bit different. Let me explain. So price went up to here. And instead of more traders actually trying to break even, even more traders began to buy. What this could mean is that more traders who had previously bought here are adding to their positions. It could also mean that there are fresh longs who are just buying ETC up at around these prices here. But whatever had happened, what we do know as a fact is that this was a great spot of resistance and price was not able to go any higher. And if price had gone higher, I'm pretty confident that the long short ratio would have decreased a significant amount. I say I'm pretty confident in that because just how many people had bought here, a 4% increase in all positions on ETC, I think if price goes here, they're just going to sell. Uh, I, I can't really see these guys just holding and price cleanly going higher without any, you know, immediate just sell. So, you know, we can really go to any of these examples here and, and I can just show you guys. I don't want this video to be like forever, but, you know, there's just so many, there's just so many of these coins where you can just see these trap traders. And again, I'm not interested in open interest decreasing. That's not really what I care about. I want to see open interest increasing to see where people are getting into getting into positions and then seeing, you know, how sentiment increases as well. And we can kind of see that here as well from on, on Ethereum. Nothing like really cool though. I'm looking for a coin that just really stands out. Oh yeah. The coin that was just listed. Okay, this cannot be more perfect. 
Look at this. ADA was just listed, and we see the craziest thing. Like, look at these. <laughs> look at this long short ratio. 11 longs for every one short. I mean, come on, ADA. Okay, I, I feel so bad for anyone who had who had bought here. Okay, 7 a.m. What happened to ADA at 7 a.m.? Let's go see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what a terrible time to buy. I am so sorry, but this is so disgusting. Look at this. 7 a.m., you have 11 longs for every one short, and what does ADA do? Yeah, bye-bye. It just, it just tanks. Just no remorse. And we know that so many people had bought here that prices struggles to go higher because of how many longs that there are there. Now, if we look for jumps in open interest, the largest jump in open interest, I do have to say, is the 1040, is the 1045 10.45.11. And the 10.45.11 here actually showed a decrease, meaning that probably some shorts actually came in from the 10.45 to the 11. I can see that here. So actually, maybe some of these were profitable shorts because we see some shorting here. Um, any other increases in open interest? Really, it's this coin. It's it's hard for me to look at this coin, guys, and actually like do the same kind of analysis with break even because the open interest is so small. We can't really say much about this when it's only eight hundred seventy-three thousand dollars. I mean, that's just not a lot. So the looking for trap traders just isn't going to work as well here. However, however. I still believe that even with an open interest of what, what was this at the time like 660k, which is again nothing. But when we have 11 longs for every one short in that 660 thousand dollars, <laughs> that's just telling me that price has got to fall. I mean, really, I, I just can't see any reason why like how someone would be able to convince me to buy when there are 11 people who have already bought for every one person who has shorted. I'm just you know I'm not gonna I'm not falling for that dude. Even here, I mean, like, what, they're 82% versus 17%? Ugh. 82% versus 18%. Yeah, it's like, okay. G good luck to anyone who had bought here. But what we can also do with this analysis is not just look for, you know, hey, open interest increase with uh, with a position change. I want to go see what happened here from the 3 a.m. up to the 4 a.m. because that seemed like a lot of interesting things happen. Do we even have data from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m.? Or is it going to go crazy on me? Oh, the contract opened. Here, and we just see an increase in sentiment. Yeah, so probably people are buying. If I click 30, it's probably going to spaz out. Yeah, it spazzed out. Okay, so that's the end of that. It, it did not like that. It did not like that one bit. So I'm going to end this video here, guys. We don't get the pleasure of looking at ADA because it's just such a new coin, and there just isn't that much data, and the open interest is not that high. But let's talk about some takeaways that we can get from this video. Actually, some of it is, might even come to play here. What we know is that trap traders provide wonderful opportunities for us to go long or short. If I see that a lot of traders have open short positions here, I'm going to be very inclined to buy at prices around here, you know, and that would have worked well. Now, if I see that many trap traders were around here, which is true, there were many longs who had bought around here, then I'm going to be pretty inclined to sell whenever price goes in this region, or especially if price goes a little bit higher and allows all these traders to be uh, profitable, I, I'm pretty reasonably confident that price is just gonna you know, go right back down. The only reason where this might not occur is if price begins to increase and you just see a sharp decrease in the sentiment and in the open interest, that would tell me that traders are just leaving um, and then price might have an easier time to go higher because the break-even traders have already break-evened. But I think one of the best examples, if not the best example of this entire video is ETC, to be honest with you guys. ETC on the 15 minute had so many traders who were trapped here that it's just going to be tough for for the price just to go higher unless we see just a decrease in sentiment. With that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you have learned how to incorporate a sentiment analysis into looking for support and resistance. If you have any further questions, you can email me, message me on Discord, or sign up for one-on-one -on -one mentoring. With that, happy trading.